Good morning, Jude. They're so, about to start the main engine, Bertha. Well, about to. Uh, checking levels. This fuel tank doesn't have the level it should have. Got half. That's because I drained some of it to fill the lister and to inspect the diesel. There's a diesel oh, okay. sample on deck right so now. So it'll pull through once we get it started. Yes. Cool. So we also have to open the vent on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of a funny reach. How are the things? The vent is open on the top. Very good. Let me see if I can. Here we go. Got a level of oil in there. And then we're gonna wanna open the priming valve. Oh, do we do 20 on there first? You could do them at the same yeah. time. So Jude is going to prime the crankshaft with this lever right here and I'm going to prime the inside of the cylinders. Does that I'm gonna open up the compression pins. So right here. And yeah, go ahead and get the second one open. Indicator inside the compression hole. Jude is going to bar over the wheel. I'm going to get over here to get a good. piston indicator for it to go up. It's gone up it, its first time. We're going to let it go up and down once. And now, the next time around, we're going to leave it in the up position. And hang on, Jude. The piston indicator likes to get caught underneath this fuel line, so I'm just going to Move it forward like that. There we go, it's gone up. Oh, it went down again already. So you have to go completely around again. It just falls off the side of the thing. The vertebrates on it. Well, it's... So it's way down? Yeah, it's on okay. its way down. Oh, I was wrong. That's good right there, actually. There should be a temporary chalk mark. Yep, right there. That's a good. That's a good spot. Okay. Now we can close the holes. Replace the compression pins. even more 80 times
this just takes forever. he does that, I'm going to fill the pre-lube cups that go in the air oil selector. So it's right in here. I'm going to fill this cup. this valve so that the oil let me get a light I don't have a light I'm gonna open this valve so the oil drains into the cup there it goes while that's draining into the cup I'm gonna fill this cup as well that's 80, that's 80. Alright, once I fill this cup with oil, did you make sure that the fuel valve on the day tank is open to Bertha? Yeah, I thought you might want to show me. Okay. Let me close the priming valve. Yes, close the priming valve. Yep. So you already made sure the vent on the top was open. And this is the fuel line to Bertha. It's open. The day tank's only half full, but that's because I drained it yesterday. All right. And what we could also do, oh, open the priming valve again and put the lever on the inside because you see how it's sticking out right now. We want to leave the lever in an inboard position. The lever? The priming lever that you were pumping. Oh, I see. There you go. Yep. Just so it's out of the way of us doing anything. Like getting to the cooling valves. Alright, the main does Alright. It's not in the procedure, but... It's a good idea right now to set the cooling valves to minimum cooling. So we're going to open the bypass valve completely and close the cooling valve completely. You could do this right after you start here. It's not the end of the world, but it's just good to know. And you can go ahead and close the cooling valve completely. Now that the oil is drained into the pre-loop cup, I'm going to close this valve, hand tight. We're going to visually make sure that the clutch is out, the clutch is out. We're going to make sure that the controls are clear and free to move. and leave the throttle set to about three quarters, right there. Now you can go ahead and let the captain know that the main engine's ready to start. Don't forget your earmuffs. Yes, earmuffs. Go ahead and open that hatch all the way too. Yes, please. So, if we put the flywheel in the right spot, we should have to hold the button for less than a second. I'm gonna 
check how much pressure we have in the upper tank. We've got 20 bar. We lost a half a bar since yesterday, it's not cool. That means we have a leak somewhere. It's right here. But I'm gonna use the upper tank. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this valve with the hammer. Open this valve, four full turns. We're gonna hear some air leak out of the distributor, which we just have to deal with. And then I'm gonna push this button for a second. If the engine doesn't start, that means we probably put the flywheel in the wrong spot. So we'll have to reopen the compression pins and put the flywheel in the right spot and do it again. But I'll close this before we do that. Once the engine does start, we're gonna move the throttle back to about one third throttle. That's a good idle speed. And then we'll immediately check outboard on the port side to make sure that the cooling water is going over. All right, you ready?